let's get started. Where do you want, where <clears throat> shall we begin? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just navigate to our gospel library. Okay. And you can see that on my screen here. I'm going to tap on the library and open that up. It opens up to what's called the home screen. The first thing that we want to do is just distinguish between the home screen and the library. So you can see down on the bottom left part of your screen, there's a little house and a little stack of books. Right now we're in the home screen. This is great because it's as if you were coming into my house. This is where I keep all of my personal things. So you'll notice at the top of the screen there's a banner feature and this is, you can scroll over, this is where all of the latest content for the church will be found. So if there's like a face-to-face -face event or a message from our prophet, this is where you'll find it Very in cool. the banner feature. Yeah. So the home screen is personalizable. If I go to that three dot menu that's at the very top of the right hand corner of my screen and tap on that, you'll see it says edit home. And if I click on that, um, you'll see that uh, all of the little features of the home screen are there. And the three bars on the side of each one, if I touch those and hold them, I can drag um, those into a different order and make it personalized. You can also add things and take things away. If you're teaching primary, you can add some things there and take stuff away you don't use. So very customizable. That's awesome. And then there I'm, are- I'm really embarrassed already that I don't know these features. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm following along right now. I'm like, oh wow, this is amazing. <laughs> it's great. So you'll notice that I have, I have it in an order that may not show up in the same order on your screen. Okay. Because I've rearranged, so the stuff that I use most is at the top of the screen. So I love to use my study tools. That's where you find all of your annotations, things you've marked, things you've tagged, linked, and we'll get into how to do all of that. Okay. But at the end of the day, after you've learned how to do these things, you'll come back to your home screen. That's where you find your stuff, is at your home. So then you'll, you see next on my screen, I've got continued reading, which is a section we use a lot because we study with our children at home. And it's so much easier to say, okay, everyone go to continued reading and then pick up where we left, left off last night. Well, and, if, and that's something that's very familiar. If you, I, I stream on various streaming apps mm -hmm. and it's always nice when I can turn turn on, open up the app and it says, continue watching. Yes, exactly. Like, oh, this is right yeah. where I left off. So this is yeah. continue reading, awesome. same yep. thing, you got it. Okay, uh, the next section on my screen is called study plans. There's several study plans that have already been created by the church. But another one you might like, Ben, is at the very end, Book of Mormon seminary readings. So if you have seminary age students, this is where they can keep track of all of their readings awesome. for the year. Isn't that, that great? That's great. Okay, and then there's, there's just a few more sections down here. There's the Come Follow Me section. So if you're ready to study your Come Follow Me for the week, all you have to do is click right on the date there and it will take you right to the reading for the week. And then there's uh, quick links to the scriptures, general conference, music, things like that. And then there's also a quote of the day, a verse of the day. The quote of the day comes from the latest general conference talks. And the verse of the day comes from a verse in that week's Come Follow Me readings. If you, all you have is 30 seconds to read, at least it's something that you can sink your teeth into and get a touch of the spirit for the day. And then um, there's also some features that may or may not appear on your screen all the time, but uh, in your ward, your Relief Society presidency and your Elders Quorum presidency can add the general conference talks that you'll be studying in your classes that week. And then also the people over the music in your ward can add the hymns that you'll be singing in church that Sunday. And all of those will appear on your home screen. You can click right to them. It's easy access. Just to clarify, so the, the music uh, director of the ward right. can create something that other more members can see? So on Sunday, when you open up your home screen, there is essentially that little wood thing that you normally see up yeah. in the congregation, right? Um, that's replicated on your home screen. So all you have to do is tap, and you're, you're straight to the, the hymn. Which, which is, <laughs> with, with the new hymns that aren't available in print, right. super easy oh, to amazing. have it right on the app. And everyone can just open their home screen, tap on it, and they're singing. Right that's to the amazing. Hymn. That's really cool. One last little fun feature that maybe some of our younger viewers might enjoy. At the very bottom of the screen, you can see I've got a daily streak section. And so that's a really fun way to keep track of how many days you've studied in a row. Now it is per device. So mine shows only 14 days. I promise I read more than that. But if I read on my phone, it doesn't show up necessarily on the same device. So but I shouldn't be bragging that I'm at 179. Uh, you're totally <laughs> beating me, Ben. That's amazing. So yeah, that's kind of a fun thing to see if, you like, if you like to keep track of your streaks. So. That's awesome. Okay. So that's a, that's a basic overview of the home screen.